All righty. Okay, so we are live. I don't know if anybody got the notice. Um, I am still in my setup, making sure my cameras match up. Uh, so while you guys come in, I'm just going to do some tests. Let me make sure that I'm live. I believe I'm live. It says I'm live. <laughs> I don't know if I'm live, so let me go to my channel. And uh, my channel, my channel, and ah, it says I'm live. All righty, so good. At least I, at least I know I'm online. I'm live. It says I'm live. <laughs> okay, so there's a little delay. No problem. No worries. Let me see if I have a. Okay. Hey, Jean, can you hear me? That is the question of the hour. This is a test to see if we're live. Can you hear me? I see you. Let's see. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna keep playing around here, um, Jean. You get to watch the, the inner workings of a new system. I'm, hey, thank you. Hey there. Hey there, Jackie. So I'm, can you give somebody give me a thumbs up to let me know that they can hear me. I am testing out my new setup. Thank you so much, Jackie. Okay. So I've got, um, I'm using a new tool and I've got multiple cameras. And so this is Logitech tripod. Is that this one? Nope. That's actually FaceTime. Which one is this then? That one is FaceTime. Okay, let me just set this to the right camera. This should be this camera, which is here. Okay, we're, we're cooking now. And then we have FaceTime is this camera, webcam, webcam is, see this is why you shouldn't be trying to be fancy, you know what I'm saying? And you really shouldn't try to go live um, and, and do this experimentation live. But we're gonna, we're gonna play along. Okay, so we have this one. This is my big daddy. Okay, all right, so I just wanna make sure all the cameras are actually what they're supposed to be. That's me working, that's my working camera. And this is my FaceTime camera, that's overhead. And who are you? I don't know who you are. Oh well, <laughs> we won't use that one. Okay, so let me come here and say, say hi and welcome to Soul Rain Art. I'm Rachel Bellamy, it, I am actually late and I'm not a person who likes to be late, so we're just gonna roll with it. I am trying a new setup, and it's a lot going on, so just bear with me, give me some grace. Um, if you'll say hi, and I know, right? Fancy, fancy, right, Jackie? Okay, okay, so uh, take my time. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, I think I'm set up. I got my lights going, I got, I got a lot going on, on my desk. I don't even know how people art when they have so much on their desk, so much technology, but we're gonna do it and we're gonna have fun. So today what I thought I'd do for my test run is um, I got a haul. Um, so, so let me tell a little backstory, okay? So every year, I don't know if this is you guys, but this is definitely me. Every year at Thanksgiving, when they have the um, uh, Black Friday sale, I go into this mode of, you know, I should buy my own Christmas presents because that way I'll get what I want. So Black Friday never fails. I buy a bunch of craft stuff and art stuff because I, I get the stuff I want. And then I, after I go into this remorse during Christmas where I say, you know, I'm going to go on this spending freeze and I'm not going to buy anything until, you know, until I use everything, right? That's what, that's what I say every year. And so then... What happens is every year without fail, creativation happens. And then I say, oh my gosh, I need all the products. And it never never fails. So this year, creativation, they, um, they had some cool stuff. So we're going to go through some of the cool stuff. And I'm going to, so I'm going to talk about uh, this gloss spray. I got some gloss spray. I got the Distress embossing glazes. And so that's what we're going to do. So this is my, my big camera. And I have to remember to look at it, but I think when I go to the desk, I won't be looking back up at it. So I'm going to look on my phone and see who's all here and give some shout outs. Hi, Corey. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Jackie and Jean. Yay, we've got peoples. Um, all righty. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me on my test. And everybody who hasn't wrote hello, hello to you. I see you there. I appreciate you. And now let's get started. So again, just bear with me as I, I figure out all these, all these little controls. Okay. Hey, we got controls. Alrighty. So here on my desk, I know this looks disorderly, right? But I have a plan. <laughs> I'm just going to show you my haul and then we're going to do some testing. Okay. So, hey there, Pat. Um, okay. So let's get started. So first and foremost, what caught my attention first was the distress glazes. Now, if you're like me, you say, Rachel, I have a lot of embossing powders, so why, why do I need these? That was really my question, too. And then our guy, Tim. Tim, he always does it, right? He makes whatever he has just look like, oh my gosh, you got to have it. And he did that for me. He went through and showed us these um, embossing glazes, as he calls them. And uh, look at that. See, I have to practice this little piece here because I realized yesterday that you've got to get like right up on it for it. There you go. You can't read it that way. Can you read it now? Or anyway, anyway, you get the gist. This is um, his embossing glazes and they're in the distress line color. So that was one plus, right? And what he explained, I got one of Seth's in here. What he explained was that these will dry the color of the rest of the line. So, if you're like me and you like a fossilized amber and you have it in the Distress Oxide, the dress, Distress Stain, and all the other Distress products, they will all work together. Um, they'll all work together. What's wrong, Jackie? Can't remember people's names. I'm terrible with names, too. I think I may have to make like a cheat sheet or something, right? As <laughs> people's names, what their real names are, so they think... Um, so I can remember their names. They'll help me out. That's how I do my neighbors. I have a little cheat sheet on the refrigerator <laughs> so I can remember their names. Okay, back to the thing. Okay, so um, the distress uh, glazes are in the distress line. They coordinate when they're dry with the other distress products. And one thing that's really cool about them is someone's texting me, of course, right? always when you go live. <laughs> um, what's interesting about the Distress Glazes is they're translucent. Now that is important, an important differentiator between, let's say, a Seth Afters um, Bakes Textures, which are, they might be translucent, but the normal embossing powders are not. They're opaque. I think his stuff is opaque too. Once it dries, it is opaque. Okay. Now what is the difference between that? What does that mean? So, uh, the Distress Glazes will um, allow you to see what's under the surface versus when you put on a, a an embossing powder like a baked texture, it is going to um, be on top of the surface. Okay, nevertheless, these are the colors I got. And we're gonna, we are going to sample these. So I got um, Cracked Pistachio. Hi, Patty. And hi, Gillies Art. Um... I got Walnut Stain, I got the Fossilized Amber, I got Fired Brick. I tried to open these so that I wouldn't have that pain um, while I was live, right? But I didn't get the one color that would probably be my favorite color, <laughs> which is the Fired Brick. Okay, I also got uh, Broken China. I see another one that didn't make the cut. You know, I really did try to prep. Just want you guys to know that, right? I did, but hmm. yeah, you see me killing my stuff. Hi, Patty. You said I'm getting some crazy sound feedback. Is anybody else getting that feedback? Because it's highly possible that it's me. <laughs> it's highly possible. Okay, I'm supposed to have a pip. Let's see. Let me try something else real quick so you guys can see my face. That's this guy. Is that you? Is that you? Or is that you? Let's see. It's not supposed to be webcam. Webcam one. Yep, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so now you can see my face while I, I make my, because I make some crazy facial, facial expressions. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Patty, is there a sign okay? You'll just give me a thumbs up or someone else say it's okay and maybe it's just Patty. Okay. I know we all try to prep, right? Okay, Jackie says we're good, so we're going to roll. So I also got this peeled paint and um, antique linen. 
Rusty Hinge. I already know I'm going to love that one. Yeah, I know. The, the, the can actually makes that sound when you open it, just so you know. It does make that sound. And then I got uh, uh, Vintage Photo. So, you're probably saying, Rachel, did you get them all? No. I had discretion. <laughs> okay, I got I got 10. I got 10. I got 10 of the 12. I don't even remember why I didn't get the other two, other than the fact that, oh, I know what it was. See, they were given sales if you got all 12 of them. And I wanted to get all 12 just to get the sale. But what happened was I waited too late and then I missed all the sales. And so mm, I'll show them. I'll only buy 10. That's the logic I'm using. <laughs> okay, so as you see, I didn't, in my mind, I thought I prepped all these. And I know that if Tim saw me opening his things the way I'm opening, butchering them, killing them with the, the, the look at that. This one is called Tattered Rose. So I don't remember which color I didn't get. I think I didn't get the, the gray because I was like, well, I got enough black embossing. Antique linen. Okay, so that's what that's what we got there. We're not going to stay here too long. We are going to try these out. And um, at some point, I'll open these while we, maybe while we chit chat, right? So another another mental note, right? So you got to, if you guys do live streams, I'm not, this is my first I'm, I'm, a, I'm a noob, as my as my kids would say. I'm a noob. You're a noob, Mom. Yeah, I'm a noob. Okay, so I also got these embossing pens. Now, they already make embossing pens, and I already have embossing pens somewhere. I'm in the process of um, moving my studio, right? And so I really have no idea where stuff is. But they sold these, they packaged these, and they have two tips. One is a bullet tip, and one is a brush tip. So that's why you got the two, right? That's all you got. You got the two. All right, who's here? I'm back. Mini cam running and Brett is causing the screeching. So mini, oh, your mini cam, not my mini cam, right? Is that what you're saying? Okay, all right. So this is kind of tough, man. You got, <laughs> you got to like triple, triple, dipple task. Okay, anyways, as we focus. <laughs> so these are the embossing pens. One's a brush and one's a bullet. And I'm going to put them over in my embossing. We're going to use them in a minute. I also got, ah, he also has this embossing dauber. Turn it this way. Can you see it now? I'm saying you got to, you got to write all these little notes to self, note to self. They got to be a certain way. Really? You're just not going to play along. You just, you're just not going to focus. Oh, okay. Anyway, believe me when I tell you. Believe me when I tell you, it says embossing dabber, okay? So this is the new school one. This is the old one. And he says the difference is in the top. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, he's right. This one has a felt top. This one has like a, a scrubber top, almost. This one has felt. This one has like a scrubber top. He said that this one's going to come out more. This one is going to come out less. <laughs> it's going to come out less. Okay, wrong tops. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I was, um, like and share. Yes, Jackie, please. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. What else did we get? And then let's finish his line. Um, he put out the, um, collage medium in a mat and I don't know why he didn't do a transparent, but anyway, he came out with these little bottles. And so I got one and I think maybe he did and I just didn't get it. Hmm. Oh well, but I got this one. I want to try it. I like it in the jar, but he said he put it in the bottle because in the jar, the oxygen gets to it faster and it dies out. That's, that's, that's what they're telling us, right? <laughs> we know the real deal is, hey, I'm going to get your money. So I'm going to make a whole product line. Got my money. They did. They got it. All right. So then what else did I get? So, um, which is hilarious, right? Because I also just yesterday ordered I would try to get something, but there's obstacles, like there's cords. Okay, so we're not going to try that. We're not going to try that. Okay, but let's just focus on what we're talking about. So I got the um, Distress Texture Prates Crackle. I saw him use this one, which was really cool. And then I got the Distress Texture Paste Matte. And I got the Grit Paste in Opaque. And I got the grit 
paste translucent. I'm real excited about the translucent materials because for my, um, oh, got an announcement. I don't know if you guys have heard. I know Patty has been so sweet and has been telling everybody. And I believe Vicki and Corey both have mentioned, but I'm on um, the Robin McClendon's design team with those other fabulous ladies. Again, that's Patty and Corey and Vicki. And so we, once a month, we'll do a video about um, using um, Robin's printables and, and, and making them our own in essence. And so I needed some translucent materials for my project. And so I'm excited that I have a couple to use and maybe I'll keep those out for that. Okay. So that's what we got there, and I told myself to put them away so the desk can try to become clean as we go. All right, so we've got, moving right along here, I got uh, these gloss sprays. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Rachel, I got a lot of sprays, Rachel. Why do I need another spray? I said the same thing. But you see, my girl, Dina, and she's my girl, she's got these colors that no one else has. I mean, you've got some similar colors, but no one has cheddar. I mean, like for real, no one has cheddar. And this is, this is the best color ever. So the fact that she came out with cheddar in a spray um, just made me excited. I knew I had to get it. Now, I really want to know, if anybody knows Dina, tell her um, we're going to need her to bring out Sedona because that's my other favorite color. But anyway, I got four colors to try. I thought I got, oh, I got five colors to try. And so we will try those colors. Just so you know, I got eggplant, I got turquoise, I got marine, I got olive, and I got cheddar. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, how I decided the colors, right? So first I said, let me get, thank you, thank you, Jilly, for saying congratulations. First I said, what's your favorite color in the line? That would be cheddar. So I got that one. <laughs> and then I said, okay, how are you going to use these, right? Because I have a lot of sprays. And so I said, well, you know, most of my sprays fall in my normal color line. Red, yellow, orange, gold. That's what I normally buy, black. So I said, okay, let's try some different colors. So that's what I did. I, I rarely use purple ever. So I got eggplant because I figured I could use it kind of like a spritz to add some contrast. For, right? Try something new. I am just falling in love with turquoise. I still didn't, I still not going to say I love blue because I used to have a, like a physical reaction to blue truly. Um, uh, but I am learning that in order for my reds, in order for my reds to work and to, and to do what they do, their magic, they really need some contrast and their contrasting cousin, complimentary cousin is blue. So I'm learning to like blue. And so I bought Marine and I bought turquoise and I opened Marine and I opened turquoise. Good. And then I bought olive because it's just a cool color. Okay. So we're going to do a spray of those. So I don't want to put those too far. And then what else did I get? Now, if you watched my Seth after recap, he introduced me to the best blue ever. It's a blue called inky pool and i'm gonna take the time to let you see what it says come on there you go inky pool now most people have sold out of inky pool i don't know if they discontinued inky pool or not but i found somebody who had it and i bought two bottles because it's inky pool the best color and i know you want to know rachel y'all hear you saying that but let me just show you let me just show you. we're gonna turn right around here we're gonna get a piece of paper do we have a brush? Any brushes handy? See, this is what happens, man. You set up and then your stuff is not like where it needs to be. That's okay. I had a water jar. Ah, <laughs> water jar right here in front of me. Okay, here we go. We got a water jar. All right, so we're just going to, I just want you to see this blue. This blue. Oh, is that not gorgeous? I mean, for real. Is that not the most yummy blue ever? It's kind of a turquoise, kind of like a Prussian. I mean, it's rich. It's real rich. And I don't know if you guys can see it in the, the lighting is doing it any justice. But it is. It's very turquoisey. And yet, it's it's blue too. Okay, I don't know what I just drew there. We just drew like a, <laughs> a hurricane. <laughs> or a jellyfish. Okay, but anyway. Sorry about that. So now you guys know when I'm here 
creating, I, I do talk to myself. So I have no issues talking to myself right now because this is what I normally do when I'm in here creating. Right, Patty? When you sat next to me, all I did was talk to myself the whole time. Okay, so I got I got Inky Pool. And then I got this pea coat color because it reminded me of like a Prussian blue as well. And so I know someone should be saying, Rachel, if you put a piece of paper behind it, I think it works better. Let's see. No? Where, where's the thing? Ah! No? See? This is that Mac, man. Vicky, we're going to have to work on this... Um, this autofocus. Ah, look at that. I got to get right under it. Pea coat. It's very, very dark and rich blue. I got that. I got uh, deep sea. <laughs> you co-signing on my statement about how I talk to myself. I ain't started dancing yet, Pat. Then they know I've lost my mind. Kanye or I said Kanye. That's Cayenne. Hilarious. We're going to rename this one Kanye. This is Kanye's new color. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're just not going to focus. You just you just, you just, just don't love me, huh? So we have a love-hate going on. That's fine. Because in the end, I'm going to win. I'm going to put you down. Boom! Moving on. And I got lipstick red because a girl loves her red. And I didn't have this one. Most of the... So let me tell you about the Fresca paints. Most of the Fresca paints are very muted. They have a... They have a they have a very muted line, right? So like my, 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 my girl Jackie here, she loves muted colors. So she would love these, right? And I tend to use very vibrant, loud, pure colors right out the bottle. No mixing. What is it? No chaser, right? Just straight, straight up out the bottle, all the pigment. Because that's what I like. But I like... The Fresca paints because they are they do great with layering. Now, where did I get this little tin? This is one of those little acrylic containers for nail polish and makeup organizers. Um, when Seth was at Creativation, they had put all 168 in one of these, and I already had some, so guess I just took it. <laughs> guess I'm just gonna use it, right? Okay. So anyway, but all their colors are very muted. They have a couple deep, rich colors, and but most of them are muted. So. <laughs> yeah, talk to myself, make my own music when you, I'm already, you know, who needs a radio? You can just start singing. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I know. Issues. Okay, so I also got this, uh, I don't even know how you say it. I didn't even try to say it. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is um, English major type. Oh, yeah, I was, wasn't I? Hmm, my bad. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that color. And then I also got khaki. And khaki does not look khaki. Khaki is definitely not, not like I would call khaki. This khaki looks more, um, I don't know what khaki. See, when I think of khaki, I think of tan, right? This khaki is like, um, get that some of that paint off my brush here. Get some of that paint off my brush. This khaki is, is more like a green, like a sage, but they call it khaki. So sometimes the colors don't really match the title. This is definitely more like a sage or like a celadon, right? But they call this color khaki. So that's what I got. Um, you guys want me to tell you where I got from, right? Okay, since I got my two inky pools, I guess I can let you know where I got them. I found them at this place called Frantic Stamper. Yep, Frantic Stamper is where I got them. And uh, she's an online store. When I can't find something anywhere else, okay, I type in Frantic Stamper and she usually has it. So plug to whoever owns Frantic Stamper. What else did I get? Seems like I, I am. That's it, huh? Yes. All righty then. That's excellent. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So what time are we? It is. We've been on for 26 minutes. So now we're going to see some experimenting. And... Um, I'm going to do the sprays first because I haven't completely opened <laughs> these um, distress and I need, a, I need to plug in my heat tool. Isn't that always fun? Okay, clearly it's working. Alrighty, so let's just see. I think that's the wrong side because I got five colors. So normally you use these and you spray. So I learned something. At Seth's, um, at Seth's retreat, his class, he was telling us um, that 
when you have the little mica ball, the little ball in there that shakes up all the mica, that you should you should rub it this way as opposed to shaking it, especially if it's a um, something that has like a metallic in it. He said those metallics, the little fine fibers get caught when you shake. They get caught in the nozzle. So if you roll it, then it has a better way of activating it. Now, he didn't say that about the ones that are not, <laughs> that are not um, metallic. So, all right, so I'm just going to give you a little spray, right? And then how I normally use my is not that way at all. Normally I'm a paint, I dip my paintbrush in there and I will just use it to see how it works. Because you get more coverage, right? You get more controlled coverage. I like the splatter, but I also like to just paint the stuff. So that's the marine. I thought it would have been much deeper because um, I don't know if I have you can't hear me because I turned my back. I'm sorry. Oh, you can see my back. Hi. <laughs> I have to remember which cameras I have on when I do silly stuff, right? Uh, I've got peacock. I've got turquoise. Okay. Look at that. It wasn't too far from me. Okay. Well, welcome back, Corey. Okay, so I just wanted to compare it. it eh, I guess it is the color. So it's a um, kind of a muted blue. Jackie, you would like this color. That's the paint next to the, the spray. So you can see it is the same color. Okay. Now, of course, now I've started something. Now I've got to go find all the other colors. That's a fretza. <laughs> all right, well, we, we, may not be, we may not be two for two here. Let's see, we got chatter. We got chatter. We got... I don't think I own. Uh, I own it. Go ahead, Jackie. Say she owns all the colors. It's a straight up store up in here, right? I don't have eggplant. Could you guys let me run over there and get something? Talk some amongst yourself. Watch this. We're gonna get real fancy. Watch this. Okay, I'm back. Did anyone talk amongst themselves? I can't see. Okay, okay. This is an interactive session. I need you guys to interact. Right? Yeah. All right, so let's keep going. So we got turquoise. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how I actually use these at one point. Right now we're just doing a little prime in the pump. Take our top off. Ooh, messy girl, messy girl. Mm. Yeah. That other one was way neater. I need a towel. Anybody got a towel? Hmm. I need a dry towel. It's no fun if the paintbrush is too wet. <laughs> I'm fancy. I'm fancy. So so if I Priscilla was here, she would say, yeah, you fancy Nancy, Mom. It's one of her favorite stories, a lady named Fancy Nancy. Okay, so let's see. And then I'll give you some paint. See, when in doubt, you know, you just use Kleenex. <laughs> when in doubt, when you can't find your paper towels, you just use Kleenex. Okay, so we're just going to ignore, mm -hmm, just, just, just ignore my little um, blooper there. That's the spray concentrated. That's the paint, and that's it sprayed. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to dry my brush so that we won't have the same drama when we try olive. Okay. Olive. Woo, beautiful. Yummy. You know why I like it, right? Because it's almost a yellow. <laughs> it's almost a yellow. Now, what's interesting, so this paper that I'm using is, uh, is this my resume paper or is this some Nino White? It's a Nino White, but it is it is bleeding through. So if you're going to use it like in your art journal, you may want to put some gesso down. The sprays, they're, they're kind of powerful. You might want to gesso prep your page. I'm going to get some concentrated. Ooh, pretty. So, yeah, it's definitely high liquid, a lot of liquid in here. 
um, and, and bleeds right through the page, right through the page. Yeah, so um, Corey, I am I am a noob to the color blue. I actually, if you were to talk to like uh, some of my girlfriends, they know I actually have an aversion to blue. Like I don't own anything blue. <laughs> blue wallpaper, blue how blue furniture, blue anything used to just make me like nauseous almost. But I have learned as I've matured in my in my artane that my gorgeous color red actually needs blue in its life and so I'm learning to like blue I'm still a, a little resistant don't do any baby blues <laughs> I do I stay in the turquoise which is almost a green Ooh, that's a beautiful color that is my favorite Dina Wakely color ever I'm sorry I know you guys are not excited as I am but I'm, I'm quite excited did you guys hear it make that sound I'm trying to tell you it didn't make that sound if you guys didn't hear it, it's because you guys so look at now. That's a variance. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Concentrated. That cheddar is almost orange, but in this spray, it is definitely yellow. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit so you can see. I gotta hit a button. I don't want me to zoom in, silly. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on. Hold on. Why I, I get my life together here. fancy. Ooh, look at that. Now you can really see it much better. Okay. But look at that. That's almost an orange. The cheddar that I love is an orange. This cheddar and the spray is very, very yellow. Hmm. Perplexing. Okay. So we'll try the paint eggplant. Okay. So now it wants to have issues. It wants to have focus issues. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Ooh, purple. Now, I know Pat Porsche would love this color, so I know you just go ahead and order it now because this is your color. This is your color palette. Yeah, I love the warms. No baby blues. Mm -mm. No cools. However, I like the ocean, but you'll never see me paint an ocean picture. I actually like scuba diving because I like the color blue in the water. But I don't know if I want to. I just, I don't know. I'm, you know, next year I'll be singing the blue love song. I already know how this is going to go, right? That's how it usually works. You start saying stuff like, I don't like blue. Ooh. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Can we just take a moment and talk about the creaminess of her paints? Like, for real. Like, for real. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. I was having a moment. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right there with you, Corey. I love jewel and earth tones, warm. Yeah, but yeah. okay. So those are our. Uh, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can try to read it. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I, I can't read it because I got all kinds of stuff on my page. You can't read it because I got my name there, right? Okay. How about how about olive? There you go. That's olive. Turquoise and cheddar, eggplant and marine. Okay. Now. Moment of truth. I need to make sure these can't. Let me put the paints away. I'm going to clean up real quick. Just so that we can. As I clean, I'm really just trying to make sure these tops are on. Because um, I've done that before, you know. I found myself cleaning up and make a big old mess. Okay. Tops. Look at that. Already... <laughs> um, Pat, I'm laughing because I was thinking about when you lost your top. Like, just random, just lost your top. And we're like, we know it's here. You haven't gone anywhere. Yeah, like right now, I've lost the top. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm not going to say the top was on the thing. Okay, whatever. Whatever. All righty. We're about to get busy. I, w I need a helper. That's what I need. I need, Pris I need, Pr I need Priscilla right now. Because Priscilla could be over here opening these containers and checking to make sure that every, all my tops are on as I throw them roughly under the table here. I have a little bucket, just so you know. See, I have a little bucket I'm under my under my table that I'm throwing them in. Okay. Now, my 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 desire is to is to do all of these. That's my desire. Do you have golden stalo turkey? That would look great with all your warm colors. Yes, I'm sure I do, Patty. Um, 
<laughs> Look, I'm sure I do, Patty. Yeah, I um, yeah, I started down that golden. I started. Hi, Patty. I, I, for, I keep forgetting that I can actually make eye contact with you. <laughs> I uh, I started down that golden path. I saw, you know, Robin. Let's saw, let's just have a minute to talk about our girl, Rob. And you too, Patty. All of you enablers. Yes, yes. Let's have a moment. I single-handedly am keeping the economy alive because of you enablers. <laughs> okay, I, I'm party. I'm participating in enabling, aren't I? Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I just I have to blame somebody, right? I always tell my husband. I say, well, you know, I could like purses. I do like purses, but I don't spend my money on them. I spend my money on my pay. Okay, really? See, that that would be like, um, Jack, you know how we come up with our ideas about uh, things they need to develop, to design? They need to develop a, a quick package opener. <laughs> Especially with people. Bye, Gilly. Thank you for watching and hanging out with us. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, like, really? Like, why make them? I guess they make them this hard to open so they don't, like, leak everywhere. But once I get them, they need like an automatic opener. Like they come in the house and they just automatically depackage. Wouldn't that be a genius? Okay, that one's open. I'm just trying to make it so that we can go. I'm sorry. Anybody got any questions? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> thank, thank you, Patty. All I know is Amazon, they, they really need to pay you back. They, they do. Because I watch one of your videos and I, this is how I do, Patty. <laughs> I turn on your live and I open up my Amazon my Amazon cart all at the same time. It's like a one two. It's like turn on Patty, open up the Amazon cart because I know that you're gonna tell me to go get something like that Yamati Kamati Yamato paste. I don't know if I needed it, but you said I did, so I got it. <laughs> you said I needed it, so I got it. I'm just saying. All righty, so let's. Let's do some experimentation, mad scientist that I am. Okay, now, I, if I was really clever, I'd put them where they're supposed to be, so you guys, but I don't know if I'm that clever. I mean, I think I am, but normally, reality might not match up with my thoughts, you know? <sighs> Vintage photo. I hear click clicking. I am shopping. Go shopping, Jean! Just, um, so there's a meme that, that cracks me up. It is so true for me, right? The meme says, my biggest fear, and this is so true, this is so true. My biggest fear is that when I die, my husband will sell my art supplies for what I told him I paid for. <laughs> That's the, that is true, man. Could you imagine if he if he just said, okay, everything in here is $2. That's what she said she paid for. I would have to get up out of the casket and be like, no, call my girlfriends. They will appreciate it. Come get it. Anyway, so anyway, y'all have been on put on notice. Something ever happens to me tragic. Come get my stuff, please, before that man throws it out. Anyway, yes, the, yes, yes, the Kamato starch paste. I ordered some. I ordered some. Okay. Yeah, I, see, see, we're going to, um, Corey, we're not hoarders. We're curators of fine supplies. See, it's all about the reframe. <laughs> about the reframe. Okay, here we go. I need one jar because I know I'm going to make a mess. This is going to be called the mix jar. Oh, so if you want to know what I just pulled out, hold on, hold on. Sorry. I bought some of these a while ago, the distressed storage jars. Basically, they're the same jars. And so... I don't have that kind of patience to try to put them all back in nicely. So I am just going to put them all together. <laughs> and we're going to call it the mix. We're going to call it the mix. Okay. Can you see everything? Let me just check how we're going here. And... <laughs> exactly. Just put you in the wheel, right? Just, just put you right in. Write it in right now. If uh, Lonnie first called these... You might have to get in line though, because I know Jackie, Jackie and Pat want to want to come here too. I almost okay, we almost had a tragedy, and you guys would have had to see me react. This water almost spilled everywhere. It almost spilled. Mm. Oh, say I'm bound to do that, right? That that's real world. That's life. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? We are going to try to be controlled 
and I, if I was in my studio, I am in my studio. If I was set up, I have yet to get actually know where stuff is. I would be able to tell you what we're going to do. So we're going to, um, we're going to use this um, embossing dabber, an embossing dabber, and we're just going to. He said, he said, he said, you got like seven minutes for this. Is what he said. So we are just going to put this on here. Now, what I really should have done. Thank you, Judy. Um, what I really should have done was stamp the little image so that you can see how it's translucent. But I didn't do that. <laughs> didn't do that. Sorry. But we can uh, but we can make it happen now. Look at that. See that? You know I got supplies. That's one thing we got is supplies. So, all right, we just turned around here real quick. I'm gonna get us a stamp. I'm gonna grab us a little stamp. Then I have to let it dry. Luckily, stays on dry fast. All right, so I just want to see something, so you can see that it's translucent. We're just going to put this little mark. I was telling, I was telling my husband yesterday. I was telling him. I said, you know, it's real easy to just watch <laughs> YouTube videos. Like, mm, it's a whole different story doing it. But, okay, here we go. So we got a we got an ink. This one has a dauber, this one has a dauber. We're gonna see if this thing works, okay? Now, you can't really see it. He said, do not squeeze it. I'm gonna put a little more because I don't see it anymore. He said I had seven minutes. That thing was like seven seconds. I know you're at work. I, I should be at work too. Let's not talk about that yet. I should be at work, but I needed to get this. I wanted to go live. <laughs> I wanted to go live. And so I just came upstairs. So, so if you guys want to know where my studio is, my studio is in the same building as my office. So I take what we call smoke breaks <laughs> and lunch breaks, and I come upstairs. Uh -huh, that's what I do. And I play in the studio. And what's funny is then I have to go back to the office and I'll have paint all over my hand. Whoa, yeah. So I saw this little cute little, um, I saw this cute little invention. And it was like this little, you know, they always make, um, they're going to get your money. They are going to get your money. They made this little scooper. A little scooper. They made a little scooper. Boston scooper. And I said, oh, I need that. That's what I said. Okay, now, now, now you saw I, I put that stamp. That's okay. That's a better approach. That's a better approach. Yeah, yeah, that's a better approach. That's a better approach. We'll just do that. Okay. And what grabs is the grab. Now, this is so, so if, 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 if Tim ever said this video, he'd be like, what kind of technique are you doing? This is not a technique. This is called efficiency, <laughs> and this is just efficiency. We're just going to spread this on here like this, so we're going to go to town all at one time. Yeah, I know, right? It is kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I can't. I, I can't be up here all the time because then my, my employees would be like, uh, ma'am, you're taking a lot of smoke breaks today. <laughs> so I do have to be um, a steward of my time. So like when I say I come up here to take a smoke break, I don't think there's, I don't think, yo, I don't think that dauber's working. Mm. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I do have to be a steward of my time because how can I hope, how can I be, you know, expect them to do better if, you know, I do do right. So. I don't stay up here too long, and normally I'll do it at like the end of the day, after I've already worked a 10 hour, 12 hour day. So, <laughs> okay, let's just see what this does. So, I was watching the video, ooh, lovely. Okay. I should have told you heat tool, sorry. Can you see it changing? Oh. 
Okay, real quick. So first, I was an unbeliever. I did not think this thing was actually going getting put on. I didn't think this distressed dauber was putting anything on there. It proved me completely wrong. It, it was definitely putting it on there. Now, what's also important to see is, see the stamp? You see it right, it, it, it's translucent. It covered the whole, one little daub, changed the whole color all of that. That was just a dab and a little bit of stuff. And if you notice, I didn't even have that much on there. But it truly just colorized the area. Pretty cool, huh? Did I remove the protective cover from what, Peg? Oh, from the dabber? Um, yeah, well, um, what was interesting is when you first open it, it's kind of like those um, paint pen, acrylic paint pens. You got to get them, you got to get them warmed up, right? Now I have moved walnut stain. This is how an accident happens right here. It does look glossy. Um, he said he does not have a mat. And um, he said if you wanted to, I was watching a video, he said if you wanted to tone it down, right? He said you could just take a um, pumice stone over it and it would... Um, It would knock it back some right now so what i think is good is it it is glossy why because some of the competitors are not glossy they're not translucent and they're not glossy so you, we're going to get the full range of did I... <laughs> I can't remember if i put it up there i think i did i don't see it so i'm gonna put some more back on there because i don't see it I have to be mindful of my time. I got 10 more minutes. But I think we're doing good. We're doing good. We're going to get them all on here. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pe uh, Peg. You'd asked that I... Uh, it's kind of... I was trying to explain that it, they're kind of like um, tattered rose. These are done. They're kind of like the um, paint markers. You know how... <laughs> You, you uh, have to get them primed. You got to get the, the you got to like hear that little pop kind of deal. So, so anybody, if you buy it, don't be alarmed if at first it doesn't seem like it's working, like, like nothing's coming out. It just keep priming the pump and eventually it'll come down. Now he said, do not squeeze it because it will, the top will explode off. Not explode, but you know what I'm saying. It'll, you, you'll get too much air in it and all I know, and hi Peg, I just realized that you are the Peg that I love to watch on YouTube. So, so sweet that you joined us. I learned so much from your, your Instagram channel too. You, um, yeah, I, uh, I love, I love your colors and, and how you work with with your colors so that's probably why I'm drawn to you is your color so I nice to see you okay this says cracked pistachio and I'm just putting it on here you and shale um, you guys have a great little uh, thing going with your with the, when you guys do your experiments together I always enjoy watching you guys work together Yes, please. Please, by all means, share if you have a channel. If you have um, an IG, put your IG handle on there so that we all can follow you all, so the community can get bigger and grow. And, you know, they won't count us out when they do those crafting hops because us mixed media people, they know we're a little different. <laughs> they know we're a little extra. Okay, so I'm contaminating, but I really. It's just kind of my style, right? Ooh, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. That fossilized amber is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Which is interesting. I think I got more excited about the fossilized amber than I did about the fired brick. And I just knew I was going to love the fired brick and the rusty hinge. And last but not least is peeled paint. Anybody seen it? Anybody see it? It should be green. 
All right, here it is. But you see I got all these other colors over here? Yeah, that's not going to be truly peeled paint. It's going to be like green and... Sorry. Very scientific here. Uh, mental note. Don't whisper while you're working. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see. I got my camera. I just ordered my lights, Judy. Yes, Judy, we need you on here too. Okay, here we go. Those mixed media people are different. You know I'm telling the truth. Okay, hold on. You know we different. We like all the tools, all the products. We use them all together. Oh, I shouldn't talk over the heat tool, right? That's a real sound effect. Okay. Oh, I didn't do this guy. My bad. My bad. Smells good. Mmm. Wow. It smells like. Mm, it smells like cinnamon. Anyway, so those are the 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 um, the glazes, and they're yes, they got a shine, and full coverage from the dabber. Love the rusty hinge. And I am going tomorrow when I live stream. Shh. <laughs> tomorrow when I live stream in the morning, I am going to show you how I'm going to use these colors in my with Robin's printables. So wanted you guys to see them. They're awesome. Now, <laughs> the best part is we have what we call the mix. Oh, we're going to put all of this into this jar, which is now known as the mix. Yeah, I know, right? Yet another supply to curate, curate. Now, I did want to see, ooh, that's beautiful. I mean, that's beautiful, right? That is beautiful. My mix is beautiful. Don't know where the top went. Mm. Clearly, I have this guy's top on the wrong guy. This pile is called The Mix. <laughs> okay, so that's what we wanted to do today. We wanted to show you my haul. I did want to do one last experiment, but I'm going to leave that open. But we won't do it. We'll save it for another day. I uh, thank you all for joining me. We have five minutes. If you guys got any questions, Jackie, you have such a sweet and peaceful voice. Yes, yeah, she does. My Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, yes. It, it's hard. It's hard to resist the curation of these gorgeous supplies, right? Like um, I was looking at, so one of the things that I was curious about is um and we'll just we'll just play along since we have five minutes um okay so this is this is seth after's chunky rust oh my goodness really wow okay so he said from what he said he said that things like to settle so you got to make sure you them around a little bit because like right now it's like all oh wow whatever that soft substance is it's all at the top very interesting his stuff is definitely totally different mm. all right so i wanted to see what that one was and let's do this one it's a little more this right here is really chunky so this one won't really compare well. So we're gonna try Seth Apters. We'll do the same, we'll do the same thing. I'm trying to stay mindful of the time. Start on time, end on time, right? <laughs> you tell I was in military. Okay. Beep. Okay. And I wanted to show you something else. So another joke, on running joke 
is um, Seth had us do a whole bunch of stuff with washi tape. Mm -hmm. And um, although I have lots of washi tape, I don't really know how to use it effectively or use it that much. And um, But I enjoyed his technique and the process he had us to do, so I bought some. And since I'm working on this passport project with uh, the ladies over in Robin's group, I needed some. You see, I still use the word need. I needed some more. I needed some more. Mm -hmm. So I, I got some. You're probably going, where is she going with this? Yeah, I did. I got some more. I got some new kind. So I figured that's what was wrong. I didn't have the kind that I like. So I got a couple shipments in. Yeah, I got a couple shipments in. This was off of an Etsy store. I know, right? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to get all your money now. <laughs> just trying to get all the money. Okay, so see that? Isn't that cute? It's like a craft paper with some lines on it, and this one is a craft paper with like a, like a distressed kind of look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you the shop. I'm gonna tell you the shop. And then I got the. Our Japanese script and then I got regular script I love anything with text on it and I got another one with text this one this is all from the same store so you can just have at it in the store her store is called winter time on Etsy and so I got a bunch of scripts because I, I like scripts and text. She had a bunch of scripts and text. Okay. Now, what are we talking about? There's some event because you know I I have I have uh, I have um, old scrapbook bags that will travel. Oh, this too. Look at this. Look at this, Patty. If you're still here, um, she had this. And Jackie, you, you and Pat both appreciate this. She had. Um, what did she call this? Oh, craft colored onion skin. What? I got some. I got like two packages because I wanted to see it. But anyway, that has dried. I stalled you guys. You didn't even know I was I was doing a decoy so that I could get that ink to dry. We're gonna do a little sample because I just want to see comparison wise how Sethy Poo's. See, I can call him Sethy Poo now. <laughs> I can see how his okay that's like way way too much but that's okay because it's gonna go in the mix and give us some give us some color and I want y'all to know this is not how I would normally put on um, normally put on embossing I lost my little my little my little my little filter bag alrighty here we go let's see what we got so Gotta make sure you get that out of the way because that heat gun will blow it open. Heat tool. Patty, I don't know if you saw those uh, washi tapes. You probably already have them, but. Okay. Hmm. Very similar interesting ah wasn't dry sorry <laughs> my bad I don't know if I have enough on here my paper is over here smoking y'all we're gonna have a fire Oop, it is 10 o'clock I got to go I got to go I gotta go there we go I needed his stuff to bubble because I know his stuff bubbles. That's how you know his stuff is done. It kind of bubbles. Now that's interesting. What am I saying is interesting? Okay, can you guys see that? Look at that smoke. Okay. As the smoke clears. <laughs> um, this is Seth Apter's um, Crimson Baked Velvet. And... This is Seth Apter's um, jacket. That's what that is. So it's not, it's not a, 
Tim Holtz one. It's the Seth After one. And it's the uh, Baked Velvet Crimson. I just wanted to see if it does the same thing. It is translucent, yes. Now, what I've noticed, though, is it actually... I don't know how it did that. It's very interesting because it's there is color and then there's a space where it's embossed too. So somehow there's color from there got into the I don't know. I can't explain that. Like so what I'm saying what I, I don't know if you guys can see that. So when you look at like uh sets, right? I put the dauber completely there. I put the powder completely over top of it and it Everywhere that the dauber went, the color went, and the shine went. Now, when you look at Seth's, color went everywhere the dauber went, but the glaze piece, ah, that's right, because he says, okay, that's, that's in the way it's made, okay. His piece, his stuff, he said, is, is a mixture. So what you're probably seeing, the, mm, the glossy pieces is what, Okay, yeah, okay. I remember him saying that, that his stuff is a mixture. His So his stuff has lots of different stuff in it. And the dauber picked up the color, right? The dauber picked up the color. And the gloss that we see in this is the clear crystals that are in here. So that's why the whole thing isn't, isn't like that. But interesting, whereas Tim's, it's completely, everything is made out of the same glazy substance. <laughs> All right, so our little experiment today, our haul, we learned a little bit, at least I did. I don't know about you. I hope you had a good time. Thank you all for joining me, for making my first live with people. Um, enjoyable. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Please like and subscribe to this video when it goes live or when it comes back loaded on YouTube and share with your friends. And I am going to go live tomorrow too, because I am going to work on Robin's printables for our design team, and I'm going to show you how to, I shouldn't tell you what I want to do, right? I should make a surprise. I should do like the whole cliffhanger, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. So tomorrow I'm going to colorize some of her, her printables to use in a collage product project. So that's what we're going to do. So see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. And no, and no, <laughs> you see, Patty, I won't even try to say that name because I can't say it either, Patty. So you're not in the, you're not the only one who can't say who's it? So so so. Anyway, hugs everyone. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Okay, now I gotta remember Jackie. I couldn't figure out how to <laughs> how to stop this thing last time. I still don't know how to do it. <laughs>